As the first three days of his trial come to a close, Anders Bering Breivik has made his attitude quite clear. He shed tears, not of remorse, but out of emotion, on hearing his own extremist propaganda played to the courts. He also expressed regret he didn't kill more people during his bomb and gun rampage last summer. One of the most challenging moments so far for the survivors and victims' families might have been hearing his anti-Muslim manifesto written in prison, which Breivik was allowed to read out in court for more than an hour. A tough session in which the audience's nerves were put to the test, but tempers remained in check. I think it's, it's fair and, and, uh, and good, really, that he can expand a little bit on what he really thinks. The trial is a massive media event, with more than 800 journalists covering proceedings. Constant interviews have forced families and survivors to relive the horrific events of July 22nd last year. But despite their grief, they were well prepared for the intense pressure, making themselves available to the press between each session. We are not professionals. We are parents who either lost our children or who have children who survived. And we have sort of jumped into this to try to help our members so that they don't have to speak to the media unless they want to. But I think the media has been conducting themselves in a proper and, and good way. 24-year-old tourist Sinding Bekedol survived the massacre on Utoya Island when Breivik, disguised as a policeman, murdered 69 young people on a socialist party camp. Seeing Breivik gun down his friends in cold blood changed Tori's life forever. But he admits the trial is helping him come to terms with the tragedy. Now we can, you know, close the door on him uh, behind the jail cell and get on with our lives and try to build it uh, up again. Uh, but of course the events will never leave me. Anders Breivik's trial still has 10 weeks to go and the survivors and victims' families will have to relive much pain, although the fact justice is being done is clearly a source of comfort to many. But for all Norwegians, many questions remain unanswered about their country's most violent post-war killings.